evening. The decision not to charge two police officers who shot and killed a black man in North Minneapolis is sparking both outrage and praise. On June 23rd, officers Justin Schmidt and Ryan Kelly shot and killed 31 year old Thurman Blevins. According to new interview transcripts released today, the officers feared for their lives. Today, Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman announced that he would not file charges against the officers. Freeman says Blevins' disregard for police instructions, fleeing, and pointing a gun at officers justified their actions. Jeff Wagner has been digging through the Blevins files that investigators released today, and he joins us now from Minneapolis City Hall. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, as you mentioned, Amelia, the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension released that massive investigation file. It had more than 2,100 documents, as well as recordings of the nearly 80 interviews the BCA did with witnesses and police, including the two officers who fired the deadly shots. The body cameras worn by officers Justin Schmidt and Ryan Kelly offer a hectic, and vivid depiction of what they saw during their deadly encounter with Thurman Blevins. But the recordings of their interviews they did with the BCA offer a glimpse into what they were thinking. Officer Schmidt, who was within feet of Blevins before shooting him, said he feared for his life and that of his partner when Blevins took the gun out of his pocket. I gave him numerous chances to give up, and he continued to escalate the situation by first grabbing onto his firearm then clearing it from his pocket and the fact that he kept looking over his shoulder to me that's showing he wants to know where i'm at so that when he if, he if he's able to turn around he knows where to aim this is the gun police say blevins was holding officer kelly who was farther behind says blevins aimed it at him in a matter of about a quarter of a second his arm comes up I hear shots, and now I have now he's pointing a silver handgun directly at me, and I remember seeing that barrel pointed right at me, and I'm pretty sure he got a shot off. A casing was found near Blevins' body, but no sign of the bullet police say Blevins fired. Although the officers were deemed justified in their shooting, Blevins supporters and the ACLU feel the officers escalated the situation when they pulled up with their guns drawn, shouting commands. Put your hands up now! The woman next to Blevins is his girlfriend, Olya Wiesman, and her two-year-old child. She described the encounter to the BCA. Out of nowhere, I don't know how, what kind of police officers come to you with their guns drawn and stuff. Scary. It was not like, hey, can I see your ID or anything. It was just guns drawn to me, my daughter, and him. Now, as you can imagine, there is much more in the BCA file that we continue to pour over. So stay tuned to WCCO throughout the week as we dig deeper into this case.